Hello friend Ramna, today I will show demo on how to read the header column within the file by using the script task. So script task one of the can provide the code to perform the functions which is not possible for any other built-in function there. So just you, you need to know uh, to uh, write the code either in VB, VB, VB or dot sharp code. So like search whether whether the file is existing in particular folder or not and uh, is there any data exists in the file or not. These functions and the these uh, these tasks can only possible to using the script class. None of the tasks can't do the, uh, these operations. So now I, I want to show the demo how to read headers of this complete data file by using the script class. So this is the EMP data CSV format file. So there are some columns. The data is around these records, and uh, there are some columns here: ID, first name, last name, email, gender, and IP address. By writing the task code, we need to uh, get the details of the header, header column as well as we also get the path where this file is location so th this file is located in d drive files so first i'm working the no package i'm declaring the variable file path data type is a string so i am setting the file path giving the value file path close it now i am dragging the script task but here in the read only we already declared one user variable file path select that one write variables we did not provide any write variables directly write the code in the if the it's the separate window is open here so we want to get the details of any particular file we have to provide one class here for namespace here that is nothing but it's using system.io system.io will get the details from the particular folder, you can also read the data within the file. So uh, after copying this dot file, after, after adding this dot file, file dot io in namespace, just to go go down and write your code here. First, you will declare, you will declare the string variable name blah, string blah, dts dot variable. Blah. You need to provide the user variable within square brackets. You need to provide the user variable. User variable is here is file path. Copy this one. Just to convert the value into two strings is the first line of the path and afterward we type the message box message box of this dot show show of this this variable initially it will show the message box of the file path that is the drive of the file path afterwards we can write the our intention is to read the uh, header lines of the information id first name last name like to read all values we need to declare one string array function string array variable string array variable some variable uh, there is one function there is File, file dot want to read all lines, read all lines of the header. Where is the header and where is the file? It is located in the user path, at file path. We need to provide the within brackets, we need to provide the star log and semicolon. Please remember if you write the code in dot net or C sharp, you, you have to uh, end with semicolon, otherwise it will throw error. So I will, when I remove the semicolon, it will show a red line of the mark. The line will be ended with the semicolon. Afterwards, we need to get the message box again to display all header names past the index. Index starts with the zero. Index starts with zero and end with semicolon. This is the four line code. Why I am putting the zero here? There are the, we already seen there are um, five lines are there, for header columns are there, five header columns are there. ID, first name, last name, email, and gender, IP address. So you need to pass the variable here. You need to pass the index number, index number. Index number starts with the zero. Zero nothing but ID. So you need to from, uh, pass the all header column to declare some string variable. Here the, here we declare only just string, string only. Now, now we, for showing the uh, all columns in the header, co header column, you have to pass the string variable. Variable means it, it includes uh, all values related values of this star lock. Star lock is nothing but it's a file path, user you, declared path. So if you don't confuse, it is very easy to understand. Go two, three times, you read the code, uh, all these functions, it will be very easy. Now I am saving this uh, code, close it, close, OK. Now I am going to run the package. See, it shows the first variable that we declare the star, star lock. Star lock is nothing but we declare one variable, file path, file location of this path. Location is the path of D files, D files and EMP data underscore CSV is the file name. Afterwards, when you click, so this is the values that are within the file, six values are there, the ID, first name, last time, email, gender and IP address. All these values are shown after running the package. These values are 
stored in the string array type. So this is how you have to create the you have to write the four lines of code for getting the head header columns of any particular file in a particular folder. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.